If there is one term that can be used to describe the works of Ivan Lam, that would be forward thinking. Over the years, Ivan Lam has never ceased to grow, develop, innovate, evolve, and take risks in his career as an artist. One could say that he epitomizes the essence of a true artist, someone who is willing to push boundaries and experiment in his quest to keep taking his art practice to the next level. Ivan moves ever forward, always with conviction and boldness. He carries with him a determination and self-confidence that no one can ignore, and this shows in the diverse skill set he has accumulated over his artistic career, from screen printing, graphic design and typography, to painting, sculpture, mixed media and performance art. His commitment to his artistic journey is also shown in the variety of ideas he pursues, which are inspired by popular culture, autobiography, current affairs and everyday vistas. When asked which of his work is his favorite, he says his answer will always be the same, and that is, it will always be the next one. The next one, the one I haven't done yet, that will always be my favorite. That shows the mentality that it's always in front that I look forward to. Whatever I've done, it's good, it's better, but it's not the best. There's always something that I want to do better or a bit more different. Because he believed that at that age, there's only an X amount of work you can do. While each series he makes are small collections, all his works are complex, meticulous and methodical, holding the essence of works that have been considered and reflected upon a very long, perhaps measureless period of time. In this sense, all of Ivan's works embody an intrinsically Zen-like quality, encompassing the intention and meaning that Ivan has invested himself in and set out to realize with the creation of each piece of work, be it from the personal, the sociological, or political. Examples of this can be seen in his heartwarming trilogy series, After All These Years, Panorama, and Together Alone, where drawing from events as simple as his daily drive to work, or as personal as the birth of his child, or even just having a dinner out with the family, Ivan dramatizes the narrative with the poetic. He conveys the mundane with the perennial Kuala Lumpur traffic jams in the beginning is the end, the end is the beginning, and captures the notions of the great Malaysian dream in depictions of mass housing and the aspirations of ownership at the end of a working day in home, we are finally home. Yet, on the flip side of this, paintings such as Three Buses, I Kept My End of the Bargain, How About You, and Waiting for a Better Future, Hoping for a Better Life, reveal the deeply socially conscious aspects of Ivan's works. As Malaysian society evolves and travel becomes a given, this painting, along with LCC, Never Wave Goodbye, captures the phenomenon of a growing middle class going for holidays, perhaps to Bali, Chiang Mai, or Yogyakarta. While the work Three Buses draws attention to not only our growing dependency on foreign labor, but also our often lowly treatment of these workers who, on the other hand, contribute so much to our daily lives, from domestic maids to factory and construction workers. Ivan's work's allure lies in both their technical ingenuity in his use of material but also in the timely play on symbolism of the subject matter within the context of Malaysian politics at that time. However, while his artworks are full of symbolism and messages, the intention of their meaning are never forced or contrived. They are natural and organic, always intelligently conceived, heartfelt and current, fully immersed into the physical mediums he uses. This can be seen, for example, in his earlier works from the way Ivan Lam utilizes text into the composition of his artworks. Whether emblazoned on the painting or expressed in their titles, they are constantly employed as abstract and random buzzwords or purely for their design value. They are not meant to be read or legible, but if we as the viewer so happen to be able to read a few lines, that would be fine too. Nothing would be gained or lost from the work. By doing this, it shows that as far as Ivan is concerned, 
whether in the use of texts or in his work, his intention is never to face the viewer to agree with his opinion as an individual. Text is never used to force mere descriptions of the subjects or images he employs in his compositions. They reveal themselves in layers to evoke the viewer's thoughts. Their meanings certainly engage the viewer in much more subtle and organic ways rather than in a directive manner. Another example that highlights Ivan's subtle and organic symbolism is evident in his series Machines, where the four works capture the social landscape of Malaysia with a subtlety that borders on the abstract. The exhibition consists of three large and shiny still lifes of heavy machinery and one close-up of the most beautiful diamond in the world, its very sparkling facet carefully stripped down to a geometric merge of shapes and colours. Made up of ascending size and purpose, these portraits of excavators and tractors immediately symbolise and comment on issues of rapid development and indiscriminate construction that seem to be the heartbeat of an ever-changing Kuala Lumpur cityscape. In addition, the three paintings being a reference to the Trinity, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit not only echoes to the artist's religious upbringing, but very eloquently comments both the issues and harmony between the three main races of Malaysia, Chinese, Malay and Indian, and the increasingly precarious way each one coexists with one another. In creating these paintings, he was also challenging the notion of the push and pull between what is perceived as man-made versus that which is machine-made. In highlighting this duality, Ivan reveals a certain fragility of human beings. Our limitations lead to a need for machines to realize our ambitions. In striving for almost machine-like perfection, we inevitably reveal our human failings. As he typed out himself in an SMS interview with Dr. Hedley Roberts, Machines are the shortcomings of men. If we were perfect, they would never have been invented. Machines stand as a symbol of our failures, but are presented as our pride and joy. In Ivan Lam's practice, the concept of duality has been continuously present throughout his journey as an artist. The push and pull between what is present and what is absent, between black and white, the seen and the unseen, the past and the present, between what is said and what is meant, between male and female, young and old, love and hate, conditional and unconditional love, these contrasts and the dichotomy between tension and balance have become a delicate staple in his works. It is in his series Together Alone where Ivan first began his exploration into this. The works consist of five paired paintings, monumental in size, his own reinterpretation of the diptych. Working on the series, it was also the first time that Ivan experimented with resin as a medium in his painting. This body of work reached a new realm with Ivan pushing the boundaries with his utilization of scale and monumentality as well as his experimentation of a myriad of new mediums and techniques. Stating, the dichotomy between the two paintings creates visual tension and division. I constantly try to negotiate the boundaries of what is and what is not. When you think you have it, you lose it. When you have presence, it's actually the absence of it. It is the dichotomy that my art thrives. In the contrast, the comparison, in opposites, the straddling between both the graphic and fine art, and the known and the unknown. Ivan appropriates and empties these images and pairs them in such a way that they are meant to be elusive of meaning inviting the audience to fill up their emptiness with their own experiences and interpretation. That in itself is a duality. They belong to everyone and no one. For some, the pairings might seem obvious and for others less so. Along their varied journeys, images may lose some or all of their reflective capacity or may become blurred. Ivan's diptych in Together Alone will be read differently across locations and hence will always have something unique to say in them. 
Another instance of Ivan's probe into dualities can be seen in his series Day Zero Night Hero. These three works, along with his triptych YZX, marked a shift from his earlier series Together Alone and Machines, as although the resin medium is still employed, its application demonstrates the artist's confidence in the material. In the past, the resin had been poured over the works, layer upon layer, coating it with a glossy sheen, which accentuated the meticulous brushstrokes beneath it. For this series, the resin has taken on a new purpose. Instead of merely being used as a final coating for the works, the resin has become a tool for the artist to reveal his mastery and painstaking application of paint in his works. Moving layer upon layer, he has ingeniously interspersed brushstrokes with resin, allowing for the resin to set before using it as his canvas to apply each new layer of paint. The final result allows for us to view his thorough and meditative approach to his works and the innovative technique he has discovered through his research and experimentation with his material. The resin has also been used to encase and enshrine the battleships which move silently at their own pace through each of the works, stirring up a party of bubbles in their wake as they make their way steadfastly towards the battle. In Day Zero Night Hero, each piece of work from the series is once again a diptych. Both works are a reflection on the artist's personal life, yet are also the issues and concerns that are universal to all of us. In I Have Hated You Too Much To Be Grateful Of The Day, the painting depicts a butterfly on the top panel, beautiful yet fragile, unattainable when alive, now captured, here forever, but Alice without life. Hence, echoing Ivan's constant push and pull about the duality in life. The piece on the bottom relates directly to the butterfly. For life is fragile and it is a constant struggle to keep afloat. It is unpredictable and continuously throws challenges at us. In a complimentary contrast, I have loved you too fondly to be fearful of the night depicts the unknown and the infinite, for sometimes, for fear of heading out into the darkness, we limit ourselves and the possibilities ahead. Darkness and the black tone of the two work actually belie the positive energy of this work, which highlights the fact that despite the unknown, the future is better than the day that he knows now. Thus, despite his fear, he moves forward into the infinitely terrifying unknown. Ivan's next series, Cutting the Lines That Bind, which premiered at Volta, New York in 2016, continues his reflection into the notion of dichotomy and duality. Here, he explores the generational gap between family members, starting off introspectively by looking at himself and the years between him and his daughters. This, in turn, led to which existed between himself and his parents, and them with theirs, the persistent and ironic void that exists between our very own flesh and blood. He looks at the space between his daughters as human beings, the space between each of their births, and although conceived from the same parents, the duality in their beings and their very existence make themselves known with each passing year his daughters live through. These are issues prevalent to all of us as human beings who are capable of processing the idea of self. Cutting the Lines That Bind is a small yet intense body of work which continues the idea that within a family we are cut from the same cloth yet are uniquely distinctive. After a rather unsettling period in his life with the death of his grandmother, Ivan created the painting entitled They Will Kill Us All, saying that the only way he could deal with the situation was to make huge works. It allowed him to keep sane and to soldier on. As he aptly says, I chose to do something about it. I chose to stay alive. 
from that, I've been carried forward to create the series Vanity Project X in the year 2017. This new body of work represents the artist's self-revelation that the only way to go from where he stands is up. Through this body of work, Ivan Lam begins the process of relinquishing control over the crafting of his works and ridding himself of an ego that was pushing him to complete every painting. As Ivan Lam progressed further into the series, the lack of the artist's signature mediums, paint and resin, is apparent. From spray paint and faded colored pencil lines, symbolizing that the artist is finally ready to completely discard the past, to vinyl and cutout circles as he begins to explore on familiar mediums and different ways to create. With this series, Ivan thus left an important message for all of us. To be able to advance is to be able to let go.